This is my review for Monday, May 8th. First up here is Cisco Systems, CSCO. Cisco actually gapped up above the level I was watching. I took a gap and go entry, closed it out. Once it failed, fell back below the opening price here, uh, failed breakout. Did not take a support entry down here as it didn't necessarily confirm what I was looking for. And it does not look like it's going to confirm a breakout anytime soon. Uh, so I'll be looking for this on a pullback. Maybe it'll hit my hammer scan again in the future. Next up, I do have Lowe's. LOW is another loss here. Uh, opened up below my level, pushed above, so I jumped in. And trailed me out just below uh, my breakout level. And as with a breakout trade, you want to have your stop loss just below your breakout level that you're watching. That way you keep your risk under control. And if it's a failed breakout, you get out before it's too late. As you can see, it rolled over pretty far, and that could have really hurt me. Uh, that was two losses on the day. Next up, I have uh, Sienna Corp, C-I-E-N. Uh, C-I-N opened up all right, came down, tested my support, got in on a green over green break, and trailed me out for a little, very, very small gain there. Um, nothing really I can say there. It just wasn't a big mover. Like I said before, these, these cheaper stocks, I'll probably start taking off of my watch list unless they have a higher average uh, trading range throughout the day. Next up was Home Depot HD. Home Depot opened up in an indecision candle. It's a, it's a fairly big mover, so I did not take a gap and go. I didn't want to caught, get caught on the wrong side here. And my ultimate uh, plan uh, on the open was to actually take a support entry down around this level. Uh, a lot of choppiness on the open, so I wanted to wait and see a green over green confirmation, which happened here right around 155.80. Got in, had a nice controlled stop there, and uh, got out on this first pop. And I left quite a bit on the table there. Um, but it did hit my target, a little bit over my target, so slippage actually worked in my favor that time. Next up here is IWM, the uh, iShares Russell, Russell 2000 ETF. Uh, opened up, came down into my support, broke below it, so that told me there wasn't going to be too much strength there, but I went ahead and took the trade anyways, and as you can see, didn't quite make it up to the opening range high. Uh, got out for another one that was a very, very small gain, so some of these trades just, they're not blockbusters, but you know, profit is profit. It may end up closing like this on a kind of sim somewhat of an inside candle here, trap some people on the wrong side, so I'll keep this on my watch for tomorrow. Next up here is KMX CarMax. Uh, CarMax, I was waiting ideally for a pullback into this region here. However, I had a five minute hammer candle and I like to see those on the open. Took a nice little entry there above that break. Once it failed to hold above 60 and a half, I went ahead and took my profit off. Came back down and tested as support, but I did not take any of the trades in it today. Next up here is McDonald's MCD. Uh, MCD came down to the support just inside the range where I was watching for. Got a good fill, nice tight stop loss. I held through this up and down action. Um, I was only risking 13 cents on the whole trade, so it was it was worth it for me to just hold it between below this this range here and, and hope that it was going to go up higher. Not necessarily the best thought process behind it, but it ended up working out. Got a decent little gain off of there. Next up here is Pfizer PFE. Uh, came down, tested my support level that I was looking at. Uh, jumped in once it confirmed a, a hold over the over the opening price and just kind of rode the price up. Now Pfizer doesn't move too much on the day, obviously, so I only got a small little 13 cent gain here. Next up is XLY, the Consumer Discretionary ETF. Uh, gapped up on the open, didn't hold anything, so no gap and go type of entry. Pulled back, I waited to see it come all the way back to the level I had noted in my video. And as you can see, it touched it almost exactly to the penny. And once I jumped in on a green over green break, trailed out to towards about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, ended up being a decent trade, nothing huge again. And that would be 7 winners and 2 losers on the day. Every one of my trades did trigger.